Hiya Chucks! Well I'm back, still full of cold, still peed off with life in general, but life must go on and unboxing appliances must go on. Why must it? I don't know. Perhaps I'll give it all up. Who's interested in a grown man unboxing crap? Well, some people are. So for those sad sickos like me who are interested in watching me unbox something, then you're in for another treat, I can assure you. This big box here, oh, it's a massive one. It's nearly as tall as me, which isn't difficult. This was delivered today um, via eBay from a company who I bought the Maytag upright vacuum cleaner from. Now they're an independent company. I'm not plugging them. I'm not gonna recommend them. I'm not plugging them. But they're an independent, which means they tend to have old stock. The big chains, the likes of, you know, Carries and uh, John Lewis, all that lot, when an appliance is discontinued, they tend to get rid, sell them off. But with small independent retailers, they tend to keep them for ages and ages. I mean, I know that from uh, one particular retailer I frequented quite a lot in York. It was like walking into a museum going into their stores and I bought quite a lot of cleaners that had been discontinued 10 or more years ago and it was like my god they've still got that I've got to have it anyway I don't know when this particular model was discontinued but I, I assume quite a long time ago we might get some sort of date uh, on the machine or the instructions or the box that will give us an idea so oh isn't that funny on top of the box, somebody's written a serial number and the date, 23rd of the 9th, 1998. This was made in Droitwich, England. Droitwich is a place where Vax still have their headquarters, but of course their machines are now made in China. So this is upside down, I think. It's huge and heavy. It's an HF 1400. It weighs 16.2 kilograms in the box. And it is an upright vacuum cleaner combined with a carpet washer. Oh, it seems to have a lot of features. I don't know much about this machine. I saw it on eBay brand new and I thought, I've got to have it. Got a 4.5 meter stair cleaning hose, 99.9% .9 filtration, a 9 meter cord, um, carpet shampoo facility, includes carpet shampoo, variable electronic speed control. Looks like there's a spill pickup tool in this. Uh, it's 1400 watts. BIAB approved, British Electrotechnicals approvals board. And it says the upright collection on the box and the upright collection Ooh. right how do we get into the bugger again it looks like it's been stored in a damp uh, stock room or warehouse there's sort of some watermarks on this just like the Maytag cleaner I bought from the same company so as long as the machine inside's okay that's all that matters so I think I better angle the camera down and we'll just unbox this huge beast. Hello, I'm here behind the big box. Oh, what shall we do today, kiddies? Now, shall we open this big box and see what's inside? Shall we, Molly? Shall we open this big box? And who's this come to see me? Oh, oh, this is another Molly. I've got, I've got two Mollies here today. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, hello, Daisy. Daisy's come to have a look at the big box, too. Oh, get off, get off, get off. Come here, then. Right. Oh, here's the big box. I'm wearing horizontal stripes today, which um, will make me look wider. Um, but it probably won't disguise my belly. Now, here we go. Whoops. Oh, it's exciting. Now, if any of you are interested, who have seen my unboxing video for the Hoover, talking Hoover Sensortronic, 
done in 80 whenever it was, when I was a mere child. I'm actually unboxing this in the same room, just a few feet away from where I unboxed that. Because I'm at my mother's house at the moment, I don't live here anymore, but I'm just stopping here temporarily for a week. And this vacuum will probably be staying here because I have, oh my lord! <gasps> I don't know if you can see this, there is an absolutely huge spider in here. Right, it's Siege, I think they're called CJ Electrical. If you want to get uh, a, a spider's nest alongside your vacuum, then go to them. Oh my god, look at the size of that! Oh, it's coming for me! I don't know if you can catch this, YouTube viewers. This is what you get, a free spider. Oh, can you see it? Oh, I'm going to take... Come on, you, you're coming to York now, Spidey. Yeah, you've had a nice time in there for God knows how long. No, come out. Come out, come out. Eggy Thorn. Go into this piece of creamware. Right, just going to get rid of this spider. Right. I'm back here after putting the spider outside. I don't know how much this is showing up on camera, but it is... God knows what I'm going to find in here, but it is full of crap, full of, of webs and dead flies and all sorts. So, before I start unboxing anymore, I'm just going to vacuum the box, get rid of some of this rubbish, and for the purposes of vacuuming the box, I'm going to use this, Ooh, which I'll be demonstrating later. So let's just get this cleaned up. Thanks to my Maytag satellite, it's now looking a little bit better. So let's just see what else we've got in. I hope there's not going to be a tarantula in there. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Right then, I'm, going to, I'm, I'm a bit, uh, a bit wary of what I'm going to find in here. There might be a rat's nest, or who knows, but. Uh, that is a first, I have to say. Now, this seems to be a separate part. Yes. Oh, dearie me. Well, that's what you get for buying old but new stock. This, I assume, in this box, is the water tank for when you use it as a carpet shampooer. Let's try and remember how all this went back in, because it might have to go back in the box again. And I am greeted by yet more cobwebs. How delightful. I think I will actually be emailing this company and saying, would be nice if you stored your products somewhere a little drier and cleaner. So everything is going to need a good wipe over, but that is, uh, that's the dirty, that bottom tank is the dirty water tank, the hose plugs into there, and the top part of this tank is where your shampoo solution goes. So that's that. In here, again more cobwebs. Ooh. Got the hose, it's going to need a good clean. I think several generations of spiders have had, had their home in this box. How lovely. A little bit of a 
Oh, God. Look at that. I mean, this isn't on. I'm going to name and shame this company. Um, I think it's called CJ. They go under the name of... Uh, discontinued but discounted, I believe, on eBay. But one doesn't expect, although it was an old model, but listed as brand new, one doesn't expect to be doing a wildlife film when unboxing a video. Unboxing a video? Unboxing a vacuum. Anyway, that's the hose. I'll be showing you all of this cleaned up later. Oh, God, there's a nest there, look. Probably ready to hatch out. Oh, dear me. Right, there's something heavy in there. Oh, this is ridiculous. I've never known anything. I mean, the Maytag box smelt a bit. A bit damp, but didn't have any of this. There's the sort of original style of Vax washing nozzle. It's a bit wider. I'd forgotten that piece there. There's this washing plate. Um, this helps to prime, I think it helps prime the um, doodah. Not sure, we'll have to look about that. Uh, a washing plate there, that's attached to the nozzle. We've got some original Vax carpet cleaner. Keeps colours true. I'll be using a new style of Vax, the, the uh, Ultra Plus solution when I do a demo of this. If only, I'm only going to do demo so I can at least give it a good clean out. Here we have some rather nasty looking instructions. And of course a guarantee, but that won't be worth anything. I don't know who Lisa Goodwin is at Vax Limited. She's probably long gone. I'm not saying she's died, but uh, she probably doesn't work for Vax anymore. Probably left under a cloud. She's probably having it off with the managing director or something. Now, that's allegedly. Just joking, she's probably a very nice lady. Right. Although well, she could be a cow. I don't know. Yeah, well, that's different. That is, um... I don't remember it being like... I've had one of these similar to this before, but it was second-hand, but... It was from eBay and they said it had only been used once, which was a lie. Well, they might have only used it once. This is just a single tube. And it's got the solution tube inside it. There's a bit sticking out there. Well, I hope, they, I hope this is how it's supposed to be. I'm not sure now. But anyway, that's that. Oh, God knows what's going to be inside the dust bag. Right. So we've got flex and a plug. And I think the rest next to come out is the main cleaner. Yes, it's got, uh, well, let's just remove that, it's come away. That's different to the one I had. Uh, dusting brush, quite a good size dusting brush, Ooh, quite soft, seems quite good. Um, I'm not sure if that comes off, I think it does. Yes, let me just pull that off. Oh, that's different, very different actually. And there's even a little, that's sort of your upholstery nozzle, you've got a little, little brush at the front as well. So that's certainly different to the model I had, it was an SX. 1400 or 1300 I think I had, not sure. Let's just take these bits out so they're only going to fall out. It's a little extension tube with I assume another tube inside, yes. Well, we'll oh, there's the crevice tool and the built-in hose. Let's just pop that back in. And it does have the spill pickup tool built in. Like I say, these were a bit of a flop for Vax. They were very expensive at the time. But most people really probably... Oh dear, oh what's that? Something else. Yeah. 
something nasty falling out. Oh, well, it's come out without the bag door in place. That's not very good. I probably, I don't know if that's meant to be meant to come off because it looks like carpet wash system. Yes, it's not. That's just to be removed. It looks a bit, a uh, bit of a mess. That. You've got your adjustable height control, some sort of a filter system here. Yes, it is a bit different. They've changed it since the model I had. And for the better, I believe uh, there was a problem with the release. This has changed. So what else have we got? You can still buy bags and brushes for this. And what's this? Oh, that's nothing. Right. I think that's everything. Again, that box is going to need to throw a vacuuming out. Oh. Filter here that's loose, which I assume will fit over here. Does it go onto that? I will check here. Or does it go that way up? That way up seems to fit, yes. And then we've got this thing, which I'm not sure what that is. I'll check the instruction book. Uh, not really sure. You've got your fleece bag, you only get one. Vax slash Arlet, whatever that means, uh, for use without pipe vacuum cleaners. So it's just a push fit warning. Uh, keep hair, jewellery, clothing, etc. away from rotating brush bar. Don't forget to vacuum permanent filter a base of machine users using crevice tool after replacing dust bag. That's for 800, is it 800? I can't say 8,000 and 8,100 SX owners. Yeah, this is all a bit different. It's a little to the model I've had. Um, there's a little device there to stop you putting the bag door on without the bag in place. So I think the bag is just a push fit. Try and push it without. That's it. Does this push. And as I've pushed the bag on, that little lever thing has moved down. So there we go. HF 1400 high filtration system. Put the bag door on. Oh dear. I don't think that's going to come off. Not very happy with this company. You know, they've obviously had this in the warehouse or stockroom for a long time. As I, yes, I knew it would be because it's old. But this, this is damn it. This has got some. That's where it's been rubbing up against um, the packaging inside. I might be able to buff that out. I'm not happy. I mean, this cost me £135. And that doesn't... Oh, is it? I mean, that might be why. Um, can't seem to get that to click into place. Let's just lower the handle. That's it. I don't, oh god, I don't want to have to send this back. Well, I really, I've bought, they should come and collect it for this uh, condition I found this in. Right, this might be because I'm not getting it in right, but that is not closing. Oh, there we are. Right. Right, that is on now. It's a bag full indicator there. Hopefully a bit of a polish will sort that mess out. We've got uh, variable speed. The model I had had a little dial on the side there, so that's a bit better having it there. Seems it does seem fairly well made. Um, certainly better made than a Chinese model. You've got your on-off switch here, enclosed in a sort of a rubberized, uh, splash-proof casing. 
you've got the spill pickup tool which can be used when the machine is in normal vacuum mode let me just oh, that's been rammed in that's let's try and see how we take this out there we are that's the spill pickup tool which will hold a small amount of liquid of maximum is 130 millilitres to give you an idea how much that is a can of coke I think is about 330 millilitres so it won't hold much maybe a, a very small piddle from a puppy or, or a small drink that you've spilt so you can use the machine while using it as an upright cleaner you can just connect the built-in hose ow oh, just knocked myself it's amazing I didn't swear then um, and so I can use that now to pick up any spillages so that's the hose as I say the spill pickup tool fits back here it's all a bit awkward goes on that way I'm not going to force it there we are that's it and then we've got the dual purpose nozzle dust tool Ooh. that's it just pushes on and that lives up here I believe. Let's try and push it in. That's it. That fits on there. And then we've got an extension tube, two piece extension tube. Let's go that way. That's it. So that's clicked onto there. Got that, which I assume is for the cable. But I'll check all the instructions. I think that's the bottom cable hook. I'm not sure. It's a carry handle there. Let's have a quick shifty underneath. And you've got that feels very loose. But whether this has got some sort of device that stops the brush rotating when it's in the upright position because I think that's possibly the case I think that will be the case because that seems very easy to get to move around so I'm assuming that once it's in the operating position because I don't think this is a this is a, a just a single motor cleaner once it's in the operating position ah yes that is now hard well it's, it's harder to turn so obviously there is some sort of device that either lifts the belt or puts it onto a separate pulley when the machine's in the upright position. So obviously when you're using it in the carpet washing mode with the hose at the back, that will not rotate. So that's good. A little bit dusty on, on the bottom. Two wheels that adjust according to the height setting. Two large wheels. This is certainly improved over the model I've owned. And there is um, a demo of a similar model to this on YouTube. So I can't remember um, the name, um, but he's uploaded quite a few videos. Um, so this is, I think, this is the very later version that came out. So I think they've. It's basically the same shape, but they have made some improvements on the earlier models. So. Once I've vacked out the box, got rid of all the spiders and cobwebs and given the tools a bit of a wipe and machine a polish, we'll uh, give it a bit of a demo. So stay tuned for more on this rather unusual Vax HF 1400.